Rogues are assholes. Look at them, with those bitty little eyes and exposed toes, skulking around in the shadows. Asshole. I bet you've never played an honest game in your life. Why don't you come out here and fight with honor? No. Valera is all about fighting dirty. She's incredibly effective at ganking enemy heroes, interrupting abilities, and from the enemy's perspective, finding the absolute worst times to show up. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you trying to play the video game? Did you forget I was here? You see this button? Not only does it double the amount of basic abilities you have, more importantly, it turns you invisible. And I don't mean to your eyes. She turns invisible to your mind. You know what I mean, we've all played Quick Match. It's painfully obvious that HOTS players struggle with object permanence. I'm still here, bitch. You push this button and you might as well not exist. How many times do you need to die before you start playing safe? Even dogs learn to stop sticking their nose where it hurts. Guys, where's Valera? Words never spoken. But she can do more than just gank. Valera has the luxury of choosing her fights. Need to melt a target? Reduce their armor. Are your friends close enough for a follow-up? Stun. Need to ensure that a hero can't use their abilities? Silence. Knowing where to be and what to use is key in mastering this hero. Also, she uses energy instead of mana, and all of her abilities have very fast cooldowns, so you can re-engage sooner than people expect. Don't even give them a chance to breathe. Patience? Patience? Gotcha! I mentioned it before, and here it is again. Vanish instantly stealths Valera while also increasing her movement speed by 20%. This extra move speed is great for getting into a position early, or sprinting away from danger. But it gets better. Like all stealth heroes, if you hold still for one and a half seconds, you become completely invisible. And with a little bit of haste and foresight, you can take an extremely aggressive position, scouting for your team and surprising careless opponents. But wait, Vanish gets even better! Once you're in stealth for three seconds, each one of your basic abilities doubles in range, and when used, causes you to teleport behind your target. Think about it. A gap closer out of nowhere that can ensure encirclement. That's wild. But wait, it gets better. You don't have to start your fights in stealth. Vanish can be used in combat. That means you can walk into a fight, bob and weave, stealth, and punch someone in the face. Never forget that Valera has two action bars. Sinister, Sh Sinister Strike is a damaging dash on a short cooldown that will be your primary way of sticking to targets and avoiding enemy abilities. Very straightforward. Push Q, scoot in the aimed direction. The dash is cut short when you hit a hero. Additionally, hitting a hero generates a combo point which we'll get into later. Blade Flurry is an explosion of damage in a small area around Valera. That's it. Really simple. Get into the fight and push W. You can use it as wave clear in a pinch since the cooldown is so short, but don't be killing minions if you can't help it. This is a PvP hero. Someone will cover the lanes, or the forts will die. Either way, it's not your problem. Blade Flurry generates a combo point per hero hit, which can allow you to eviscerate much quicker in combat. Valera's damaging abilities generate combo points. She can hold up to three of them in her pocket. You cash them in with Eviscerate. This ability slices an enemy, doing increased damage per point. The cooldown is insanely fast, and the activation time is instant. So if you're able to generate a lot of points consecutively, and you still have the energy, you can keep your opponent's insides outside. And that's only half her abilities. Ambush does slightly more damage than Sinister Strike, and also reduces enemy armor. 10% more damage from all sources for 5 seconds. The energy cost is also negligible. If you need to do a quick burst of damage to surprise a squishy or finish off someone weak, this is what you need. Find your victim, ambush, spam abilities, GG. There's a debate over which is the superior initiate. Cheap shot or garrot? I must settle this once and for all. The answer is... It's situational. Stuns are very good, and Cheap Shot is a very quick, very short stun. Less than a second. Barely a hiccup to your enemy. If they're not wounded, weak, or stupid, Cheap Shot is not going to guarantee a kill. However, this may come as a surprise, but there are four other heroes on your team, and they're all itching for picks. A hiccup could be all they need to get on top of that poor sucker. Teamwork? In my MOBA, there's also a blind component for Cheap Shot. After the stun, all auto attacks from the target will miss for two seconds, which is hilarious when you use it on an Illidan or Butcher. Know your place, meathead. Garrote is what you use if movement isn't an issue. Running, I mean, not movement abilities. The silence lasts much longer than the stun and deals damage over time. Where Cheap Shot is for your friends, this one is for you. Being silenced for almost three seconds is not fun and will cause most foes to flee, which is exactly what you want them to do. People don't fight back when running for their lives. Ask me how I know. And when it's not used for ganking, Garrote can trip up the enemy healer or mage, removing the backline from the fight for just long enough so that their allies eat dirt. 
Do you have a Zeratul or a Tracer that keeps zipping in and out of the fight for free? Shh, dreams now. Only dreams. Wow, that's a lot of tricks, and we haven't even touched her ultimates. Smoke Bomb throws a Smoke Bomb, covering a small area in which Valera is perma-stealthed. She cannot be revealed by damage or abilities when in the smoke, and gains 60 armor. This is so she can survive all the AoE spells that are now flying in her direction. Smoke Bomb is great for getting in the thick of it and ensuring you can't be focused. Great if the enemy team keeps trying to right-click you, though like I said, anyone with a brain will start throwing damage into the smoke. This ult has its place, but can't hold a candle to Cloak of Shadows. Valera is already a slippery character. Now at an on-demand unstoppable with 75 spell armor as a bonus. You know, give it a 15 second cooldown for good measure. Good gracious. I know Smoke Bomb is cool because it goes poof, whoosh, but Cloak is damn near broken. Provided you can properly time it, any attempt to lock you down becomes a joke. It's bananas. I guess it's not super busted because it relies on your skill as a player to get the most out of it, and if you mess up you can be damn sure the enemy team's gonna hit you with everything because you deserve it. Valera's a dick and anyone who plays her is a big dick. Her entire game plan is to have a good day by ruining someone else's. Showing up at inconvenient times, picking off isolated targets, and forcing a 1v1 inside the 5v5. Always just out of reach of punishment. Oh, what the enemy will do when they finally get their hands on her. Like that'll ever happen. This hero has so many tricks and enables so many plays that when you play her, you'll only be limited by your creativity and your gamer skills. Happy stabbing! Thanks for watching. And a special thanks to all my subscribers and channel members. If you like what you saw and want to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And push all the other buttons too, it makes the algorithm happy. Also, if you want to avoid the horrors of solo queue quick match, we play HOTS every second Friday on my Discord. Link in the description. Thanks again!